Hey everybody, Galusia here, joined with Skilly and Ash. Hello. Are you crafting already? I'm just looking at what it costs. Oh, okay. Uh, and today we're doing the starting area challenge, but this time co-op. So for those of you that missed it, I already did the starting area challenge solo, and you can go to that earlier video if you want to see what that looks like when you're by yourself. But this time around, I'm doing it with scale. The other thing is, the last time I attempted it, um, I wasn't as advanced in, like, my upgrades as I am now. So this time, so I'm using an LMG, and mine is fully upgraded. It is the Stoner 63. I have all the attachments that I would want for zombies. It The class for that weapon is class 3, so that's good to go. Scale's using the Spaz. And his is obviously fully leveled up and underneath his legs? What the <laughs> hell? Wait, what? Oh. It was like under your legs. Uh, that was the weirdest. Yeah, that's weird. That's, that's good animations. Yeah. The other thing is uh, I have melee leveled up to class 3, uh, which replaces the butt of your weapon when you melee with the Bowie knife, which does an insane amount of damage. So... That's definitely going to make this challenge a lot easier. But some things that I thought about that might make it more difficult. So, in the last time that I did it, a big goal of mine was to get the Chopper Gunner. Because that's a huge get out of jail free card. And I felt like if I could save up enough rare materials to get a Chopper Gunner, I would feel, like, accomplished. But now, Scale and I are both going to be picking up material, so, like, it could get unequally distributed between us, and that might make it more challenging to save up or something like that, but I guess we'll see. Having the Bowie Knife uh, replacement, though, is almost OP, I have to say. Um, so far, I haven't tested this, like, thoroughly, but I could tell you for sure just from a previous gameplay, that the Bowie Knife will continue to one-shot zombies up into round 10. So that's pretty awesome. But also, because we're doing the starting area challenge, uh, we don't have any armor unless we find a free one. Then we can at least get tier 1 armor. You can't get higher than that, but we could at least get that for free. But as of right now, we have no armor, and we obviously don't have jugs, so we're only going to have 150 health, not 250 health. I think we're easily going to get farther than I did solo. Like, I think I would get farther solo just because of the upgrades. But I think also just having someone to help back you up is going to go a long way. But ultimately, I still think this is going to be very challenging. And I think one of our biggest challenges is actually going to be normally when I'm doing like a, a challenge like this. I actually really like the yard, the starting area. It's my favorite place to be, even after you have, like, the whole map opened up and stuff. I really like kiting zombies in a circle through this area. And I think one of the challenges that you run into when you're playing co-op is I'm doing my thing and he's doing his thing. And if I start kiting zombies because, like, it's overwhelming and I can't stand my ground anymore, I'm going to kite zombies into his face. And... Or he's going to kite them towards me or whatever. And, like, our our groups of zombies could overlap and then become a problem. You know what I mean? So that, I'm, we have to be conscious of that to try to not lure zombies towards each other and create this mess. I think in the later, oh, wow. I haven't fired my gun yet, by the way, and we're me in neither. round seven. <laughs> I think in the later rounds, like, ten plus... It would probably behoove us to actually stay kind of close together and just agree to kite in the same direction. Like, I'm thinking, like, so we always kite clockwise. We agree on a direction so that we don't yep. Yep. overlap. And then we just, if we stay generally in the same area, then we should be okay. It's still going to be a bit tricky. You're, like, trying to, like, coordinate a dance. I am probably going to buy a, or craft a war machine. Hmm. Mind you. <laughs> it's like the second or third max ammo we've gotten, and I still haven't fired a bullet. Mm -hmm. Here's a question. If since the Bowie knife is replacing 
the butt of your because normally if you kill a zombie with the butt of your weapon it counts as a kill towards that gun like if you're still i obviously have gold camo for this so it doesn't matter but just for the sake of argument if you didn't have it and you're going for kills if you kill a zombie with the butt of your gun it counts as a kill with that gun and counts towards your camo if you're using the bowie knife replacement does it no longer count because you're technically not using the butt of your gun I would assume it still counts. The only way to test this is to know exactly how many kills I have with a gun for a camo that I haven't unlocked yet. Get some kills with a Bowie knife, leave the game, and like check again and see. Which I am going to do, because I really want to know. Oh, it no longer one shots. So Ooh, Okay, well, that's the end of that. So round eleven then. That's when yeah. that stops one time. Dude, I mean, but like to be able to just knife zombies and literally not use any yeah, ammo or so many points. And you know what? It's still gonna kill zombies that are injured or whatever. And yeah. like, it, like just then, like I was shooting into a group of zombies, but my gun ran out of ammo. Mm. So I ended up knifing the one that was immediately in my face, and obviously it killed him. So like, there was, you know, like, it worked in that scenario. Oh, yours doubled back to me. That's not good. I need to get caught up to you. We gotta fight together. There you go. Reload's pretty quick for a 125 round drop. Yeah, speedrun mags are really strong. Really feeling like how slow I am, like aim down sight yeah. without having any perks or anything. Like The stamina up perk that removes aim down sight penalty is just great. Yes, because I actually have an attachment on this gun that increases my aim down sight speed by 40%. So I actually shoot, when I have that perk, I shoot faster while aiming down sight than I do from the hip. <laughs> so I can backpedal real quick. Yep. I can almost get a second monkey, actually. I can. I'm, I'm God, you're picking up way more material than me. Yeah, I have sure. how much blue do you have? I have 130. I only have 80. But I did buy a lot. There he is. Oh fuck! They're behind me. Oh my god. Yep. I'm almost it. I'm down. I got cut off. See, this is this is exactly what I was worried about. It's groups of zombies that I can't do anything about because there's my group. Oh my god. God, he I has hurt. so much health. Oh, thank God. Oh my God, I dropped my monkey. Give me that back. Okay, I'm gonna use mine so that we can focus him. All right. We just have to get him down and there's way too many zombies here. Jeez. I'm out of health. Maybe reconsider your Use that half. It takes so much with unupgraded guns. It like they're really so crappy. Nice. Oh, there's oh, an insta. No. There's an insta. Oh, careful. Okay, you're good. Yeah, go for that. He should be he's ready pulling, to split. He's pulling, he's there pulling. we go. I'm probably gonna war machine here. Yeah, I'm war machine. Okay, that one's done. Okay. I still have six rounds on my war machine. Oh. Oh. Well, ain't that convenient. Uh, I can get another monkey. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm literally I'm just enough. Ooh, I need to buy ammo actually. Yeah, I should do. Actually, no, I'm good. I mean, we literally have nothing else to spend points on. I have 30,000 points, so like... Why did I, why just, did I just take damage? I took that too. I think a zombie hit us through the wall. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, that was a really bad idea. Right now. Yeah, we're not doing a lot of damage anymore. Definitely starting to feel the pressure of this challenge. I'll... Oh, that's not gonna... That's not working. Okay. I'm down. That's unfortunate. Let's use my laser form. 
Oh my god, please. Thank you. Really finicky, I don't like it. I was reloading, so I couldn't stop him from being in front of me. Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? Uh, it's a 2x. Yeah. I got it. Golly! Oh my god, they're just spawning in so fast, that's a problem. Yeah, the uh, explosives we just used. Alright, good amount of them are chasing. Oh. Yeah, trying to get to you. Yep. <laughs> Behind you. Just be conscious of your mini map. If you, I know it's hard to look at in the, in the action, but obviously that shows where we each are. I'm so much slower than you. Yeah, that's because... definitely one of the downsides of the LMG. The downside of the fucking shotgun is the much slower reload speed. Oh, there goes my armor. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That was a lot. Oh, there's something on the ground. I don't know what it is. Mr. Kill, I'm going. We are yeah, going. that's worth it. It takes so long to reload the shotgun. Oh, my God. Yeah, without speed cola. How many rounds does it hold again, that particular shotgun? Twelve. Do you have a but, tube extension or whatever? Yeah, but I should honestly get rid of that because it slows down reload, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's not good. Mm. Oh, boy. oh boy. I'm throwing a monkey. I'm throwing a monkey. I'm throwing a monkey. Oh, okay. He's there. Oh my god. I, oh, you? god. Oh my god, look at your health. Holy shizzle bizzle. I'm throwing a monkey. Oh I was my god. Say, yeah, throw another one. Oh, my, he punched me from no that. No way, he's gonna punch me! Oh god, I'm so close to getting punched. No! Monkey's gone. I got my health! Please oh, no! No! Dude, I have enough to get the chopper gunner! You really gotta use the aether. Oh, I know. Oh my god, dude. I should have used the Aether. I don't have it upgraded, though. Then upgrade it. I we will. We need the first two levels to get there. Yeah, we're going to have to try this again, bro. But that was a good, that was good, though. All right, we'll do another one later on down the road. We'll do, you know, it, you know we'll, we'll try this again down the road. We have a lot of challenges we want to get to. Uh, we've had, we have a, there's like, three or four challenges on our list that we want to get to. We just wanted to do a quick one for you guys today. So comment below. If you have an idea for a challenge, I would love to hear from you and love to see what kind of stuff you want us to get into. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell icon that YouTube is so fond of. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Let's go. Say goodbye. Goodbye.